Do you want me to do the progression? Oh, okay. All ready to go right now? Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to the latest update of Ancient GPS. We're going to add ziggurats to our timeline. Ziggurats do the same things that our other GPS devices do. They perform the three E's, exploration, expansion, and execution of trade. Although the exact dates of ziggurats are still up for much debate, our research places them between the construction of Egyptian pyramids and England's Stonehenge. We also have the Nubian pyramids that show up later on. These pyramids line up with ziggurats in the cradle of civilization. Now if we take a look at a line from Iran to Giza, starting in Iran, you will see that the ziggurat in Iran will line up with a pyramid in Cairo. The ziggurat in Iran also lines up with the Nubian pyramids in Sudan. The ziggurats in Iraq from Ur will follow a diagonal directly to Baalbek. In Baalbek there was construction by Babylonians who had conquered that entire region. This route was very important because it was the main thoroughfare for migration and movement of troops used to expand territories and wage wars against enemies. From Baalbek we can go to Baghdad. These empires could use these routes to carry on trade, send reinforcements to outlying territories along the Crescent Valley. It is very important to hold these areas in Lebanon and Jerusalem because these areas were critical for trade and were the highways to Egypt. They also contained the ports that conducted trade with present-day Italy and Spain. Following the ziggurat in Ur, we find that it lines up in Sudan going down to the Dongali Reach. This could have been the place where the people who were in Mesopotamia started to move supplies and move armies to conquer Egypt. It was the Nubian Kingdom that finally conquered Egypt after its rule of over 3,000 years. During this period the Ethiopians became very powerful and wealthy. The pyramids from Gabel show an alignment to Giza. These would have been followed by military movements in order to conquer Cairo. In Iran, many of the ziggurats are leveled to the ground, preventing their use by enemies. Conquering nations and kings of the past would have recognized pyramids and stone markers that pointed towards their kingdoms and destroyed them to prevent future enemies from using this technology.